When you have big cars and a small garage, getting them in there just right is a real challenge. You wanna have enough space for the door to close without hitting the car, and you wanna have enough space to walk around inside the garage. Subscribers of this channel have seen my popular video about mistakes to avoid when you're organizing your garage. In there, I talked about making it easier for the drivers to park in the garage. In this video, I'm going to share with you some more tips on how to park perfectly inside your garage, and I'm going to share with you my cheap and easy hack for getting it right every time. When you're looking at getting your car in the right spot in the garage, you have to look at side to side and front to back. Side to side is generally the easier direction because you're going to want to just get your car as close as possible to the walls on either side of the garage. This is because there's usually more space on the wall sides and you need that space in the middle to be able to open the door, especially the driver's door on the right side, so that that driver can get inside their car inside the garage. To do that, you just need to watch your mirrors as you're pulling in the garage and try to get that mirror as close to the wall side of the garage as you can. This is easier to do when you're pulling in on the left side of the garage because your mirror is right next to you and you can watch it very closely. On the right side of the garage, it's a little bit trickier because you have to watch that mirror on the passenger side of the car. You may sometimes need some help from the person sitting in the passenger seat if you can't see it well enough from the driver's side. I do want to point out that in our family, we do have a rule that children are not allowed to open the doors that are in the center of the garage. That is because we had too many problems with the two cars banging into each other. We can only have the careful adults do that. Now, when you're pulling in and you're watching where your mirror is compared to the edge of the garage, if it is not right, here's the trick. Do not turn the wheel of the car when you're halfway in the garage. That is a recipe for disaster. You wanna pull straight back out of the garage, readjust in the driveway, and then pull straight back into the garage. Do not try to do any adjusting in the garage because then you might rub the car on the edges of the garage door as you're pulling in or out. Believe me, I know how this goes because I've done it myself many times. Now, if you do rub your car on the edges of the garage door, what might happen is you may end up with paint transfer scuffs along the sides of your car. Thankfully, it's a pretty easy problem to solve. I had written a blog post about this on my blog, and all you need is a wet cloth and some toothpaste, preferably whitening toothpaste, and just rub that paint transfer right off the car. It is safe for the clear coat on your car and it'll take it off really easily. Just make sure to wash off that toothpaste when you're done and it'll be good as new. All right, now back to the parking. You know how to get it in the right spot from side to side, but now you need to look at front to back. Front to back is the trickier one because you can't see exactly where the front and the back of your car is. Now, there are a bunch of commercial solutions to help with this problem. You've probably seen the balls hanging from a ceiling. Basically, you hang that from the ceiling and you put it in a place where it's going to bump into your windshield when you're in the right spot. That can work okay, but then you have a ball hanging in the middle of your garage, and when you walk through, you're going to whack your head into it. Another commercial solution you may have seen is bumpers that go on the floor. You put them down and then you drive forward until your car tires hit those bumpers and you feel it bump. Then you know you're in the right spot. Again, that can work. The problem with those is you have bumpers on your floor all the time and you might trip on them when you're walking through your garage. Another solution is laser light parking devices. It basically just shines laser light down on your car and then you can look at where that spot is and know if your car is in the right spot. The problem is I've read a lot of the reviews. They're not the most reliable. Sometimes they're not bright enough. They're just not a great technology and they're kind of expensive compared to some of the easy solutions. So let me share with you my super simple and easy hack for getting your car in the right spot. All you need is some duct tape. I put yellow duct tape down on the ground right where the garage door hits the ground. Now how I use that is I pull into the garage and then I put my car in reverse and I use the backup camera. If I can't see that line in my backup camera, I know that I'm not far enough into the garage. If I can see the line, I can see if it's right lined up with the edge of my camera, or if I can see a lot of space, I know I need to pull back a little bit. By looking at where that line is on the ground, I can get my car in exactly the right position every time. Now, I do want to point out that this hack does not work if you don't have at least a little bit of space in front of your car. 
If you have a very large vehicle, like a large truck, you may need to park it all the way up to that front wall. In that case, you don't have any extra space to work with, and you probably should use one of those other solutions. But for most cars that are in the medium to small range, this works perfectly fine. I've even used it with minivans in my garage. I hope you guys liked this video and got some useful tips out of it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.